Hi, it is my pleasure to be invited to the IEEE ECC 2017 and to be able to join the student project demonstration. Thank you very much. My name is Nick Du. I am a student here at the Auckland Bioengineering Institute, belongs to the University of Auckland. Our research group specializes in needle free jet injection. The concept of jet injection is that we try to force thin, narrow jet fluid to the skin by making it travel at the speed of 150 to 200 meters per second. Previously, this task has been achieved by using DC voice coil motor. For my contribution to the field, I am exploring the use of linear synchronous motor to create newer, more compact needle-free jet injection device. So today, I am going to present the motor I have in my hand here. I will talk about the modeling, design, and construction of this motor and how we are going to use it to achieve new free jet injection of one millimeter. Okay, we will do a quick touch on the background of this work. Just to quickly remind you, needle free jet injection is a safe and fast drug delivery method. It works by forcing fluid depth of approximately 200 micrometers in diameter to travel at the speed of 150 meters per second. Tabernet 2012 reports a highly controllable needle free jet injection device using voice coil motors. Ruddy 2014 Zane used harmonic modeling to optimize Boyko's motor for this task. Both motors reported in this work were capable of delivering 300 microliters. However, they were using up to 10 kilowatts of power. Talk about motors. Methods for predicting performance of linear electric motors using harmonic modeling were pretty well established. Ruddy 2015 shows that linear permanent magnet synchronous motor can have drastic improvement in efficiency compared to voice coil motors. Just use linear permanent magnet synchronous motor for needle free jet injection tests. In this presentation, I'll talk about how we can quickly predict performance of motors using harmonic modeling and how we use standard nonlinear constraint optimization to determine our model design. I'll then talk about experimental results we collected and compare that to what we predicted in our models. Finally, we would like to demonstrate our working prototype. Let's get to it. Harmonic modeling has been known to calculate much faster than FEA while still have very good accuracy. We use harmonic modeling method described in Ruddy 2011 work. The motors is divided into regions based on material properties and field orientation. We then solve the partial differential equation to get general equation for the magnetic vector potential A in each region identified. From here, we can solve for B fields and H fields in each region by applying the boundary conditions. Finally, we can find the actual force generated for a given conductor current density J by just calculating the average shear stress. Ready 2015 model a tubular permanent magnet linear synchronous motor which has iron cover the whole length of the magnet, but in fact, we need just enough iron to cover the coil. The trade off here is that there will be copying force. We wish to build a motor to deliver a millimeter of drug volume. It is higher than 300 microliters, the volume that handheld voice coil motors injectors were able to achieve in previous works. In addition to that, the power consumption should be low enough to make it easier to build a portable power supply. We also aim to build this injector as a portable device, and thus, the length should be within a reasonable limit of 20 centimeters. We also hope that the motor can weight approximately the same as the voice coil motor prototypes. So here we got a cutaway view of the motor concept design. The coils are in orange, the linear plastic bearing are in green, the supporting aluminum plates are in metal like colors. Something special about this design is that the driven piston and the drug ampule are actually parallel to the coil and the bobbin. 
If those components were instead aligned, the model length would be too long. To have a practical prototype, manufacturing constraints are unavoidable. First of all, readily available linear plastic bearings only come in a limited set of diameters. There are not many options for precision stainless steel rods for the piston either. With a few other manufacturing constraints and set design objectives, we found the most suitable motor configuration with standard non-linear optimization. Due to having shortened back iron tube length to save the weight, we now need to minimize the cogging, which exists as a result of magnet attraction. To do that, we created an automated tool to collect answer simulation result, calculate the peak-to-peak -peak cogging for different iron length. With all the results available to us, we chose iron tube length of 71 mm as it has the lowest peak-to-peak -peak cogging. So we found the optimized motor's configuration and a good iron tube length minimize cogging. We then proceed to build the motor. We made our parts, we wound the coils, and we assembled the parts together. The FEA and harmonic modeling result predicted that the motor constant to be 7.2 Newton per square root watts. Recorded phase voltage per velocity constant indicates that the motor constant to be 6.6 .6 within 10% of the predicted value. Here comes the demonstration. In the first demonstration, I want to show recording of a working prototype. It is controlled by peel position controller. The set points are dictated by a sliding potential meter. Now, we want to show the motor eject water into air at 130 the rated speed compared to the real jet speed of a needle feature injection. Let's sum it up. In conclusion, we have reported the following. A working semi-analytical solution for the electromagnetic model of a saltless tubular linear permanent magnet synchronous motor an efficient optimization scheme for the motor mass at a given power dissipation, as well as an automated routine for minimizing back iron cogging using FEA. With these methods, we found a globally optimized motor configuration which fit within all of our constraints and manufacturing capabilities. We then prototype, validated, and demonstrated the motor. For what's next, I've already started working on a portable drive system that comply with safety requirements and contains sufficient energy for multiple injections. The last step will be test injection into gel and porcelain tissues. While the device we report here is quite application specific, the design methodologies that we presented here can be utilized to design many other devices which use linear permanent magnet synchronous motors. With some modification and parallelization, this device can be used for pressurized fluid pump or any precise fluid handling task. We also thought about using it in small volume injection molding or alternative to hydraulic or pneumatic systems. Thank you very much.